Good morning, Anisha. So, can you give a brief, brief introduction about your yourself? Okay, sir. Good morning, sir. I'm Anisha. I'm from Guntur. It's located in Andhra Pradesh. I did my graduation in Bachelor's of Commerce from Morningstar College. I have trained in uh, performance testing tool, JMeter. And my hobbies are... So which year pass out you are? 2021, sir. Okay. 2021, BCom. BCom, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. And and my hobbies are watching movies and listening to music. And my strengths are I'm a hard worker. I can work continuously without taking any breaks. And I have a very good patience. So I can explain anything with, without any hesitations and without any anger. So these are my strengths, sir. And that's all about me. Okay. So, uh, so. How come you got interest in software testing? You are from BCom commerce background, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, um, so my brother is uh, working with TCS. Okay. He's from software. Uh, he's, he's not, he's from a uh, civil background and he went to the software. That's how I got interested in software, sir. I can okay. explore myself. Uh, in software invest. Okay. So can you explain about performance testing? What is performance testing? So performance testing is a non-functional testing to determine application st stability, speed, and scalability and reliability. Uh, we can test the application bottlenecks. And if there are, uh, we can test the application errors and we can find errors in, in, in application. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, so what do we measure in performance testing? As part of performance testing, what do we measure? Um, we measure client-side monitors and server-side metrics. Client-side metrics or client-side client counters. Uh, client-side performance metrics. Client -side so can you list out some client-side performance metrics? Client-side metric performance are response time, throughput, and hits per seconds. Okay. Server side metrics? Server side metrics are percent processor time, mm -hmm. uh, percent disk time, available M bytes and pages per second, and bytes total per second, etc. Okay. What is response time? Response time, the time taken to get re response from the server is called response time. Mm -hmm. okay. So, what is throughput? What throughput is hits per second? What is hits per second? Number of calls went to the server is uh, per second is called uh, hits per second. Okay. What is the difference between request and a hit? Uh, request is a uh, main HTTP request. We type in browser is called request. And uh, num total number of calls went to the server is uh, hits per second. Okay. So how can we see, check that? Like how many calls went to the server? Uh, in response, in developer tools, uh, mm -hmm. response body. Developer tools, response body. And in developer tools, we can see how many hits. Uh, where, where exactly in developer tools? Developer tools has many tabs, right? Yes, in network tab, network ah. tab, there are, uh, in network tab, we can see how many uh, hits hits went to the server? Okay. okay. So what information, what all information you get from developer tools? We can we can get res, uh, request uh, how many requests went to the server and what response we got from the server. Mm -hmm. mm, and the uh, response uh, we can see the request what request we give in the browser. Okay status code okay etc what is this request size response size we can see the response size right what is the yes, size sir. of the response uh, 200 200 is what is the 200 it's a status code status code of what what does that uh, indicate what does 200 uh, response code indicate it's a success. Um, we got what is uh, what is my what is meant by success there? We got proper response. We got correct response. If we right. get a correct response from the server, 
then it will display the 200 uh, status code right so when we get 200 like it indicates that server is able to process your request successfully and uh, able to send the response yes sir right okay yes, sir. so what what else we get from developer tool what else what are what is the other information that we get from the developer tool um, developer tool so we we get response uh, headers what, what are what are headers is yes, a uh, response headers uh, what is meant by response header or what is the general meaning of headers? It, what does headers mean? Header means a title of the page. Huh? Title of the page. Title of the page. And in headers, we can we can see the whether our request is a get or put method. What are the different request methods? Uh, request methods are um, get method and put method, post method and patch method and delete method. Okay, what is the difference between get and a post? When is post method used? Um, post method is um, used to log in and when we are when we want to log in, in that time we use a post method. It means we can give some data to the server. Only when login. Will only when we log in. Um, when we log in and we can give some login IDs, mm. user IDs, in that time we use post method. Uh, yeah. So what are the other, other scenarios in which post method will be used? In other scenarios, uh, when we get the response, post. Okay. So, So which method, which HTTP request method has a length restriction? Get method has a length restriction. Uh, to, uh, the length restriction is a 2048. Okay. So when you submit a form, for example, you are filling a form and you are submitting a form. At, at that time, what is the request method that will be used? It's a post method, sir. Post method, right? So post method will be used when log when we log into the application. And I yes. asked like what any other scenarios where post method will be used. That is when we submit a form, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what is ninetieth percentile? Uh, Ninety percent of the values fall below this uh, percentage in performance uh, scenario. That is called ninetieth percentile. Okay. So can you share your screen and uh, you know explain that 90th percentile take some sample response times okay take some 10 sample response times and tell me what is the 90th percentile for those values can you share your screen and i will give you some response times sample response times okay sir and what is the difference between request and a hit oh i think i asked this right yes, I think I asked this. yeah Okay, so uh, you know, yeah. So take some Notepad plus plus or something. Okay. So if I give a script to you, can you uh, how much time you will take to complete the script? A simple script. Suppose I I give a script for like four to five steps. How much time will, uh, will you take to complete that script? Sir, in ten minutes. Ten minutes, sir. Okay. Note down some values. Seven. Okay, two. Sir. Okay, give some space. Comma, better space. Okay, sir. Hmm. Five. One. Uh, say um, three. Four. Again, two. Four. Yes, uh, again, uh, nine. Nine. Okay, sir. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, there are ten values, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what is ninetieth percentile for this? What is the average, and what is ninetieth percentile for this? Nine is the ninetieth percentile value, sir. Okay. 
So how do you decide that the nine is 90th percentile value? What is the average value? What is the average response times here? If let's assume that these are, these are your uh, 10 different response times that you got for a transaction. Okay, what is a transaction? Any single user action which involves in sending some request to the server is called transaction. Very good, good. So if I, let's assume that these are the response times are of 10 transactions, okay? So what is the average response time? Five is the average response time. Is it? What is the sum of, uh, how do you calculate average? Uh, total number of values by, uh, sorry sir, sum of values by total number of values. Right. So what is the total of that 7 plus 2, 9 plus 2, 5, 14, 15, 14. plus 3, 18, 22, plus 2, 24, 24 plus 4, 28, right? 24 yes, plus 4, 28, 29, 30, 37, right? 37 plus 25. 25. How much is that? 37, 42, 52, 62, right? 62 by 10, sir. Mm. What is the average response time? 62 by 10, how much it comes to? 6 point. Huh. 6.2. Yes, sir. Okay, so now what is a uh, 90th percentile? Nine is a 90th percentile, sir, because uh, 25th mm -hmm. is uh, is a large large response time. Right, it is an outlier or uh, extremely high value. Right? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, how, how is 90th percentile calculated? Uh, ninth value. Uh, before the large value is called 90th percentile. Okay, suppose if we keep, okay, uh, let me slightly modify that. Okay. okay. Can you give me control? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I got your system control. One second. Now, what is the 90th percentile? Seven. It's 90th percentile. Uh -huh. 7 becomes your 90th percentile. 9 is the 90th percentile. Which one is correct? 7 or 9? Nine? 9, sir. Why? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me put it in this way. Hold on one second. Yes, sir. Mm. Now, what is the 90th percentile? 10. Okay. Okay. Suppose if this is 125, let's say this is 124. Yeah. Now? 10, sir. Okay. Good. So first, how do you, how do you calculate 90th percentile? Uh, before the large number is called 90th percentile. When we have, so 90, what is 90th percentile definition theoretically? 90% of the values fall below these um, values. Right. Okay. Why don't we take average response times? Or why, why do we consider 90th percentile and why don't we take average response times? Um, we... Okay, that's fine. Fine. Okay, so what are the performance testing tools that you are comfortable with? Jmeter, sir. Okay, so what are the different performance testing tools in the market? Uh, Jmeter, Microfocus Load Runner, Neo Load, okay. uh, GitHub. Huh? GitHub, GitHub is a testing tool? No, sir, no, sir. Gatlin, sir. Gatling. 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 Not Gatling. Gatling. Okay. 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 So what are the different elements in JMeter? JMeter elements are a test plan, thread group, and HTTPS script recorder, transactions, rec recording controllers, listeners, samplers, okay. post processors, pre-processors, and okay. So 
uh, yeah so what are the different steps in script enhancement script enhancement oh, oh, wait wait please wait i'll come to okay. that so uh, can you explain how do you record a script in jmeter yes yeah, sir um, first we will launch a jmeter and then we have a core element called test plan to the test plan we add so you can stop your screen share so that you know i can uh, yeah okay. yes i stopped it please go ahead okay and we add a thread group and to the thread group we add transaction controllers and to the okay. to the thread group and we add a non test element called http test script recorder to the uh, to the http script recorder we add a listeners called view results tree mm -hmm. then um, we create a xml file mm -hmm. to capture the recording log and uh, next we uh, start the run button on the recording uh, panel mm -hmm. then run button or start button run, run button run button in the recording control panel then mm -hmm. we set a proxy as a jmeter as a proxy between the browser and server so what is the purpose of doing that uh, if we set a proxy if we set a jmeter as a proxy it will mm -hmm. Record everything through the JMeter. Right, all the requests and response go via JMeter. JMeter, yes. Sir. Okay. Mm. And then we, uh, then we give a port number. JMeter has by default JMeter has a double double as a port number. We should okay. give the same port number in the browser. Okay. And if we, if our re uh, request is for HTTPS request, we import mm. a root certificate in the browser. What root certificate? J JMeter root CA certificate. Right. JMeter's root CA certificate to the browser. Right. Browser. And what is the validity of that certificate? Default by default? By default, uh, validity is seven, sir. We can modify it. Okay. What is seven? Seven, ma seven, seven months or seven days. hours? Seven days, sir. Huh. You have to tell that, right? Huh. Yeah. yeah. Seven days. Then we start recording. Hmm. In which browser we have set uh, JMeter as a proxy. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Then what are the steps in the script enhancement? JMeter script enhancement. JMeter script enhancement, or first we do correlation, sir. Then parameterization. Then we add response assertions. Uh, then we add think, think, think times and error handling. Okay. What is think time? Think time, uh, the time. Uh, a real user waits between actions is called think time. So, the time? Think time. The time a real user waits between actions is called think time. Okay. Okay. Um, what are the different script enhancements that you do once you record the script? Uh, I do correlations to the script. Mm -hmm. And parameterization. Correlation? correlation is the process of uh, capturing the capturing and storing the dynamic values and passing it to the subsequent values, subsequent to the request. Okay. Okay, what is parameterization? Parameterization is, is the execution strategy that runs a script multiple times with the different values rather than hard-coded values. Okay. Are you referring to the slides? Let me check that. Are you referring to the slides? No, sir. Sir, okay. why did I do that? Sir? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I can check it here. I can check it here. You yeah, are not sir. accessing that limit. Uh, one second. Power performance testing PPT also. Okay. Ganesh okay. is accessing now. Okay. Ganesh, I can see Ganesh is uh, watching the slides. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Please go ahead. So, what, what is parameterization? Can you please repeat that? Parameterization is execution strategy. That runs a script multiple times automatically with the different values rather than hard coded values. Okay. So, what values do we correlate generally? Um, we correlate uh, if we want to if we want to select random values in script in that time. Okay. We correlate the values. Uh, user session IDs. Okay. Okay. Good. So in JMeter, what are the elements that you use for correlation? Um, correlation, 
boundary extractor sir we use boundary extractor to correlate this script only boundary extractor and we use regular extra expression extractor okay what are the other extractors boundary extractor regular expression extractor hmm. okay other extractors not completed yeah. okay not at completed by your trial right <laughs> okay so yeah so which one do you which one is preferable boundary extractor or regular expression extractor or when do you use a regular expression extractor so normally we use boundary extractor if hmm. there are multiple dynamic values uh, to correlate then we use a regular expression extractor why if you want to correlate multiple dynamic values we cannot uh, use boundary extractor uh, we can use sir but it, it's not uh, give proper dynamic values uh -huh. okay okay so note this okay uh, you have to correct this one okay so when your boundary extractor doesn't work then you have to use a regular expression extractor only in such cases you have to use regular expression extractor okay okay so uh portals which protocol you worked uh, uh, with jmeter uh, what is meant by protocol first of all protocol is a communication language between a browser and server okay which uh, protocol use, uh, web server http requests sir web http html yes sir okay what are the different uh, resources of a page of a web page mm. different components of a web page web page html okay css uh, mm -hmm. okay good mm. uh, there are some tags javascript yes sir, javascript and mm. what is css used for uh, to add styles to the page right to define layout of the page layout right? of what is javascript used for javascript is used to client side validations uh, yes javascript is used to client side validation you are trying to did not cover this client side validation did not tell about client side validation or what is the purpose of javascript javascript no he did not cover yes sir he covered <laughs> okay okay thanks anusha good uh, so keep it up and uh, continue with the same pace okay okay sir course yes. complete and attain a class in the sir no we have classes till uh, i told you right like we have class You are from Jan batch, Jan batch, right? January batch. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So we'll have like uh, till. I think I discussed yesterday, right? So. Uh, okay. Okay. No, no, no. In February batch I discussed, right? Yes, we'll have sessions tomorrow. So okay. one more week it takes one more week to complete uh, JMeter. Okay. So yes, do you have you ever executed test with JMeter? Yes, sir. I executed a test. Okay, what is the command to execute test in JMeter? Uh, in uh, non-JM mode? JMeter hyphen in hyphen t and mm -hmm. JMX file hyphen l uh, result file and hyphen e hyphen o report file. Okay, what is that hyphen n stand for? What does that hyphen n stand for? Hyphen n stands for non-JI mode. Okay. What is that uh, JTL file? JTL file is a results file. Uh, JMeter text logs. Right. Okay. What is hyphen e hyphen o? Hyphen e end of the test and uh, hyphen o is output. Sir. Okay. Good. Why should we run a uh, JMeter test in non-JM mode? Because JMeter can't execute the test, can't run test executions in GUI mode. That's why we use non-JM. We cannot we cannot execute test in GUI mode. At all, asal jail ema? No sir. Are you sure? Yes sir, no sir. No, 
we cannot execute or we should not execute there is a difference we, right we cannot as yes, we cannot execute test in gui mode can you share your screen and uh, show an uh, uh, jmeter test plan jmeter uh, you know test plan that you designed any any jmeter test plan open any load test plan or uh, scenario load test scenario sir executed on on load take that aos so what are those different applications aos bless demo they but so good yeah go to aos do you have any scripting a script for aos application yes sir i have it okay yeah. hmm yeah open that hmm okay hmm okay enough yeah now click on that play button on the top you have play button right or run yes. button right yes yeah start button yeah Mm. We are able to execute right in GUI mode. Yes, sir. Then we don't. We cannot execute. Test executions we cannot do it in GUI mode, sir. Okay. Wait. Let me correct here. So we can execute, but Apache recommends to execute in non-GUI mode only. Apache executes. You know, Apache is the what is Apache by the way? Apache is a Companies. Apache Software Foundation. Software Foundation. Right. right. So, so what happens if you execute in GUI mode? If you if you want to execute high number of users, right? Go to threat group. What is threat group? Go to threat group once. Yeah. Threat group. Now, what is ramp up period there? Okay. What Let me. Sense? Can you give me control, please? One second. Yeah, yes. Sir. I'm sending a request. Can you please give me control? Suppose if I give here number of Number of threads as ten, okay, and uh, let's say I give uh, you know ramp up period as five, right? What does, can you can you explain this? What is number of threads? What is ramp up period? Number of threads means number of users, sir. Okay. Ten and ramp up period five seconds is uh, every five seconds one user will be executed. Uh, is it? Yes, sir. Every five seconds one user will start. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Okay, run it and show me that. Okay, let me clear this. Okay. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Okay. One second. So let me do. Is it required? Is this test script record required now? When you are no, running. Sir. No, sir. Oh, then disable it. Okay. Okay. What is the shortcut for disabling that? Control T, sir. Okay. Now start the test. So you told every ten minutes one user will be started, but see there. No, oh, sir. Every five seconds one user will start. Not every five. Sorry, sir. Uh, for every five seconds one user. Did it? Did that happen like that? See on the top right, I am seeing all the ten users running. How can we see like how many users are running now? Yes, sir. Here we can see. Okay. But if for every five seconds means ten users should take how much time? Every user will take for five seconds, sir. Every user takes five seconds means how much time it takes for ten users to ramp up? Fifty seconds. But fifty seconds high in the? No, sir. Ah, uh, then what does that mean? Go to thread group now. Ah, uh, now can you explain that those settings thread properties? Can you explain those thread properties? Okay, sir. Hmm. Thread. You are getting confused. Hmm. Uh, ten users can be. What does ramp up period five means? What does it? Uh, how does it work? Five seconds. Every one user will. For each five seconds, every one one user will. Uh, hmm. ex executed. Now up to five so five seconds. Every five seconds, so the user start a while and it should take a few fifty seconds, right? To start yes. all the ten users, right? Yes, sir. And then what is happening here? And the worker user ki, inko user ki start out, and then the delay on to make it. If you give like this, 
Five seconds, sir. Five seconds. Yes, Start sir. the test again and see. Hmm. See there, Akra. See what does what does that mean? Six of ten, seven of ten, eight of ten, nine of ten. Ten users will be executed. Ah, uh, ten users will be executed in how much time? Ten users will be ramped up, actually, not executed. Yes, sir. How much time? In five seconds. Five seconds, right? So yes, go to thread group, thread properties now. Thread group. Ah, uh, how can you explain what is the ramp up period? What is the ramp up period means? In five seconds, all ten users will be ramp up. Right. Right. Ramp up period means in that five seconds here in this case. In five seconds, ten users will be ramped up, right? And yes, in the time unto the oko ko user ramp up out and start out anki. Um, one minute, one milliseconds. For every dash second, how many uh, one user will be ramped up? What is that? Uh, fill in the blanks. Seconds, five seconds. For every dash seconds, one user will be ramped up. Okay. And if any seconds go, okay, user ramp up for that. One second. Huh? One one second. One second. I think. One second. This call. One minute. Ramp up period. What is? Huh? That's what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Okay, user king. Okay, user start out. I mean, and the delay on that. Put in this case. First First user ki second user ki and the delay on the first user start out and key second user start out and key and the delay on the case. Ko. Okay, second. maybe you huh? went and I pay. Went and I pay. Start chain only. Let's start chain only. Start uh, click on the start button. Went and I pay. Yeah, five seconds. This five seconds. This quantum, right? Yes. And what does that mean? Okay, user king ko user start out and key delay and to move. Ten users five. Ten users five seconds lo ramp up out na yante. Oko user anta delay to ramp up start out na ru ramp up just na. One millisecond sir. Huh? Half second right? Half second. Yes. So ten users are ramping up in five seconds. Means that means every user will be ramped up ramped up in half second right? Yes sir. Okay. So, I you know I want to ramp up like ten users uh, for every one for every user or every user should start after a delay of uh, uh, say for example one minute, okay? okay. After each one minute, one user should be ramped up. Then how should I give the ramp up period? Sixty seconds, sir. See, there are ten users. I have, I want to run a ten user test. Okay. Yeah. Every each user should ramp up after one minute. For every one minute, a new user should ramp up. Okay, sir. So. Okay. Then what should be the ramp up period? I I should give there. Um, You, did you understand my question first? Yes, sir. Hmm. Prati one minute minute ki okay user new user start up wali. Apu ramp up period ante wali ten user sunte. Ten minutes. Hmm. Ten minutes ante how? Hello, is the how do you give that value? Ah, uh, ten minutes. Just a ramp up period lo. Huh. You are just ante uh, you are getting confused. That's it. Hmm. Sixty, Six hundred seconds. Six hundred seconds, right? Yes, sir. Right now, six hundred seconds, nothing but how many minutes? Ten minutes. Right. So, up to ten users, ten minutes, and one user will be ramped yes, up for every one minute. One minute. Right. Okay. okay. So, what is response assertion? Response assertion is uh, to get. Uh, we are getting proper page or proper page or not. Right. So how do you check that? How do we uh, check if we are getting proper page or not? In 
response we can see the okay here we can see the response okay take some other application because this is json response so take some other application did you give response assertions in any of your scripts yeah sir show that can you please show that where you applied response assertions Here, so we can. Okay. 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 Good answer. So keep it up and, uh, but you know, test executions are the practice a bit. Okay. Go through okay. those recorded sessions again. Right? Okay, sir. Here I explain different uh, threat properties. Okay, sir. Okay. And uh, I'll prepare CV for you so you can start attending uh, interviews. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, all the best. I'm closing the session. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Sir.